Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What are y'all doing? All right, so I am gonna be cleaning my trailer. It is Monday. It's my go through and pretty much clean the whole entire trailer, do damage control from the weekend, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I pretty much need to clean this whole trailer. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the bedrooms today, but I definitely do need to do kitchen, living room, and the bathrooms. I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time talking today. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing some voiceovers and stuff like that, um, but I do got a couple of things I wanna show y'all um, that is new that we had to deal with over the weekend. Um, and I did turn 30 over the weekend, so we might talk about that a little bit, but I will have like a uh, kind of a weekend vlog, maybe like a whole entire through the rest of the week vlog, maybe um on thursday so y'all be sure to check that out um it's just been kind of here and there type thing so um yeah let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my mess let's do it all right so y'all know i start off in the kitchen so i figure i will show y'all that first here we go i know it's not super horrible but i do need to really do some cleaning i've got to put some things away there is just a five gallon bucket that's what i brought my broccoli in from the garden so i got some pans i need to wash um i just got to do a little bit of putting away there's my list over here let me go ahead and show y'all this we did get a new faucet my friend marilyn sent me this golly months and months and months ago we've been waiting to put it in and we could not find the piece for it we did find the piece for it about a week ago thankfully just in time because we were dripping the pipes over the weekend because it's been cold here um the dog on sink flooded out on sunday like overnight saturday and it's Sunday, so we woke up in the morning and the kitchen had like flooded out. So the bottom cabinet had, you know, a whole bunch of standing water in it. So what I had to do was go into the back room and find a burlap curtain to match that one up there because it did ruin my little lace curtain I had down there. It is gonna stay there, but I am gonna kind of be doing like a DIY thing with that. And that'll be in Thursday's video. So, you know, if y'all kind of wanna see what I do with that, you know, then stay tuned on Thursday and check that out. But anyway, so I do need to put some of that stuff back up because that was out from underneath the cabinet. Um, so yeah, that looks a little bit different, but yeah, that is the new sink thing. And I don't think in my adult life I've had a sprayer that works. So there's that. Um, yeah, so I just gotta clean up all that stuff over there and start putting it away. We didn't have water yesterday because we had to cut it all off. Laundry over there I need to do. Like I said, we didn't have water, so I didn't even get to do any laundry yesterday. Living room is a good old mess yeah my cousin and his son did stay here this weekend you know for my birthday and sadie did want to have a sleepover so whenever she has a friend over i just kind of turn them loose let them have fun i do not chase them around there's gracie being a sack of taters on the couch but yeah i don't chase the youngins around and make them pick up and i also don't chase behind them because you know they're only five once i just let them have a good time so we left with the aftermath and i will say sadie did clean up a ton so there's really not as much you know as it was and then i do have a load of clothes that i need to put away and fold and whatnot let's go ahead and get started with this much All right, so Sadie was painting earlier, so I'm just closing up this little bit of paint here. And then I'm putting away some things that I had brought out. I was going through some of my craft stuff so that I could see what I had to redo that curtain down there and kind of spruce it up just a little bit. And I just have a little bit of stuff here on the counter. I had already went ahead and started dinner and put it in the crock pot. So I'm gonna kind of be cleaning around that thing there, which is kind of aggravating, but I have to do it. Um, every Monday I do like to go ahead and take it, everything off the counters and kind of wipe up underneath them and stuff because you know we will get crumbs and ain't nobody trying to get a roaches or nothing like that so yeah every Monday I do like to go ahead and get up underneath them and wipe all that stuff down there so that's all I'm doing y'all I'm gonna be tackling up these counters for a little bit If y'all happen to have or get this little knockoff Keurig 
thing from Walmart. It was like $19.99. Um, make sure that y'all take the tray thing out at the bottom. And I don't know if Keurig has one or not, but take that out because I think, what is it called? A Petri dish? I swear that thing is like a Petri dish and clean out underneath there. Because one time when I first got it, I didn't think anything about taking that bottom thing out there that I took out and wiped down. But it was only, you know, there for like three days before I decided to take the bottom pieces out and, and wipe them down. And there was like all kind of stuff growing up in there. So, yeah, make sure y'all take those out and uh, clean those if you don't. Because it was something I really wouldn't have thought about. But anyways, all right, now I'm just going to be unloading the dishwasher and putting all these dishes away. Since me and my cousin Justin went through and got rid of a bunch of my dishes and all, I really do not have that many dishes at all. What you see in the dishwasher and in the sink really is kind of the gist of what I have. You know, kind of like, I mean, give or take a little bit more. But it's so much easier to kind of keep my dishes under control. Um, I will look over at my sink and feel like, oh my gosh, I got to do dishes. And it's really not that bad. It kind of blows my mind nowadays that my kitchen really will not be as bad as it used to be. So yeah, um, decluttering the kitchen was a big thing for me. I really cannot believe how it changes things. I feel like pretty much every household has either had one of these or does have one of these at some point. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree, golly, probably two, three years ago, but I'd put it up underneath my sink and forgot about it. And it was supposed to be holding my, you know, cleaning supplies and all that stuff, supposed to organize them. And, you know, I forgot about it. But anyways, I found it whenever the sink started leaking and it had actually leaked all into the bottom of it. So I washed it out and I'm going to put some of my cleaning supplies in it in a little bit. Hopefully I can take that thing around with me, to, you know, to different rooms. Um, but I guarantee y'all will forget about it because it's probably going to be out of sight, out of mind, but we'll see. Why you look so sad? Come on now, mama. Ain't nothing here so bad. You got fast cars, movie stars, party on. So I'm sure that someone has often wondered what in the world is that big old cake whatnot thing that Lacey has on her counters um, every single time I clean my kitchen. But that is something that my nanny gave me a long time ago. It is a big old cake whatnot and it has July on it because it was a, a birthday whatnot of hers and her birthday was in July. So yeah, she gave it to me a long time ago and it is extremely important to me. You know, if a natural disaster was to happen and we had to book it and run, I'm going to grab my young and make sure my husband's out the door and my dogs and, and I'm going to grab my whatnot and we're going to take off. Um, so, yeah, it's really important to me. I know it doesn't match everything and it might not be, you know, us in style and stuff, but that thing's going to stay right there on my countertop. <laughs> So like I was saying earlier in the video, uh, we did have a leak over the weekend where the bottom of the sink started leaking out and where the faucet was and it flooded the cabinet underneath. So we did have to put in this new faucet Then my friend Marilyn sent me this months and months ago. And so we were finally able to put it in. Thank goodness we were able to find the part just about a week or two ago. 
that we needed so one of the bad things about having an old trailer this is a 1984 trailer is that you kind of have to go to a trailer store to get some of the older type of pieces and materials um, and hardware and stuff that you need because your regular hardware store like Lowe's and, and big stores like that they won't carry it but we were able to finally find it so we're really happy about that and it was literally just in the nick of time because I really don't know what we would have done because um, that thing was shot I mean if you look back at some of my old videos I mean it was raggedy and it did not work like the sprayer didn't work and it, it was just shot I mean it was the sprayer didn't work but the sink like where the sink and the faucet met that joker would spray me so anyways i'm so grateful you know that that we did have this faucet as a backup like i mean what in the world how how did that even work out like that like that's just crazy to me so thank you marilyn that was such a blessing so now i'm just cleaning out my cast iron skillets this one here had some sausage grease in it that i had to clean up from breakfast the day before and the next one here it had um cheeseburger not cheeseburger well we made cheeseburgers but it was from cooking the burgers in it it was gunked up real bad with uh burger grease look at that y'all but anyways yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing there um pretty gross but if anyone is wondering i do just clean mine with salt and water don't use soap do not use soap don't use soap do not ever stick the joker in the dishwasher just just saying but anyways that's all i'm doing here <laughs>
until we get new cabinets i'm not taking the chance of keeping anything you know in boxes or anything up underneath the sink i'm just going to kind of keep them organized up in these little containers and stuff instead of just keeping them in the boxes and all because i didn't like everything getting wet and all so and i'm also taking the time to kind of refill my little spray bottle here that i use all the way through the trailer i just fill it up with pine saw and then well halfway and then the other half i put some water in it to dilute it so it's not you know straight pine saw or anything and then i'm just sticking it in this little um caddy thing that i guarantee i am not going to use i'm probably going to snatch whatever i need out of it and never put it back in there All right, I had to mute this part, but Sadie is saying, you ain't woman enough to take my man. <laughs> ain't she a mess? Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy, look at this mess. I'm gonna have to start in one tiny little corner and work myself around and let me hurry up before I get me a copyright strike with Harbor Valley PTA. <laughs> We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio, mm -mm. we're gonna make it someday, nothing's gonna get in our way, we will be the biggest band in town, mm -mm. round and round the world we'll go. Shoes by the front door is one of our biggest problems, I really don't even know how to, um, you know fix it because there's really not enough space right there for a basket or anything i guess if we got rid of the other clutter that's around there you know maybe i could solve that problem but hey we'll cross that bridge one day we just got to kind of make some better space <laughs> Quit my job, never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Tommy's got brand new drums, and I still have my old guitar. And John said so we do have three dogs, but in any cleaning video, if you see any of my dogs, you'll probably only see Gracie. And the reason for that is, is because Gracie is our only female and our two males they cannot be with gracie um for reasons i won't go into detail uh, about on the video because you might have your 
young ears listening but you know how you know female and male dogs do and whatnot so anyways um y'all don't need to see all that and also because the male dogs they are buck wild it is hilarious but i won't get anything done they will be snatching stuff out of my hands as i'm trying to grab it um they will literally be yanking my hair off my head when i try to get down on the floor and pick something up trying to play the whole entire time like i said it's funny i'll be just about near to pee my pants um laughing the whole time but you know i really will not get anything done so they are outside joining um the sun and having them a good old time whenever i am filming my cleaning videos because like i said we won't get anything done but it is funny so maybe i'll show a clip one day so y'all can get a good old laugh out of me probably looking like a fool um you know it's just a good old goat and pony show around here all of the time on the greatest show so make sure that you don't miss out just be there oh just be there we're taking our shot from what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we're playing live and speaking of our dogs, so we have Gracie, like I said, and she is a pocket bully. And then we have Tank, he's a pocket bully too. And then we have Diesel, and he is a band dog. And they really are just like our family, you know. Sadie, she says that she has two brothers and a sister, and, you know, she'll go on talking about them. And it takes a little while before people realize that she is talking about dogs. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, they are our extra babies. It's cute, ain't it? I've been dreaming so much lately About your face when you're smiling It's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise You can use them as a mirror. You're my ticket to paradise. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise.
All right, y'all, that is actually all I could get to today. We had some things come up, so I was not able to do the bathrooms like I wanted to. Did not get to the bedrooms either. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope I see y'all in the next one. Toodaloo! Say bye, Gracie.